Hi guys, I'm Sonal and welcome to my channel. Today I'm sharing the recipe of an olive nut bread. So this is something you would eat on the side with eggs um, and vegetables. Uh, it's not something you can make a sandwich out of. If you want to watch the recipe of a loaf bread to make a sandwich out of, I'm going to leave the link in the description as well as on the screen so you can click the link to watch that. Uh, but this is a delicious bread which is full of nuts and it's also made from almond flour so it's already nutty i'm sure you're going to like it it goes really well as a snack or along with tea so toast it and eat it like that let's go ahead and see how i make this recipe so here i've taken one cup of almond flour some of it is homemade and some of it is store bought the brown one is what i've made at home and it looks a little more coarse for the almond flour i would advise you to use store bought this is one fourth cup of coconut flour three tablespoons of home ground flaxseed flour so so I grind my flaxseed fresh and then add this. This is 3 tablespoons of psyllium husk and a pinch of salt because I'm going to be using salted butter. 1 4 teaspoon of baking soda and 2 teaspoons of baking powder. So this is 4 tablespoons of salted butter and I'm warming that in the microwave and that's my snack. So here I have 1 tablespoon of walnuts, 2 teaspoons of sunflower seeds and I'm using the tablespoon measure. It might confuse you a bit and then there is 2 teaspoons of pumpkin seeds and two teaspoons of melon seeds. These are four to five olives. These are stuffed olives. You can take all of this to your liking. So you can take twice as much if you like. And this is my melted butter to which I'm adding three whole eggs. One fourth teaspoon of plain white vinegar. You can use apple cider vinegar if you like. I'm adding half a cup of water to this. And here I'm adding some fresh thyme to the bread. You can leave it out or use any herbs that you want. You can also use dried herbs. And to that I've added the egg mixture and I'm going to beat this really well or mix this really well. You want to make sure that you add a little more salt if you're not using salted butter. Mine was salted butter so I have used only a pinch in the flour. And now I'm adding all the seeds. You can use twice the quantity if you like. And once it's mixed, I'm using a silicone loaf pan and that's the reason I haven't buttered it at the bottom and I've just put my dough inside or batter inside. But if you're using an aluminium pan, then you need to butter it or put a parchment paper at the bottom so it makes it easier to get it out of the pan. On the top, I'm sprinkling all the seeds that I put in the batter, also some sesame seeds because I like them and I'm patting them lightly to kind of stick them to the top. And this is going to go into the oven for about 40 to 60 minutes at 180 degrees centigrade or 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And you want to make sure that it is cooked by putting a toothpick inside and checking if it comes out clean. Then your bread is cooked. I'm slathering this with a little bit of butter on top uh, just to give it a nice shine and keep it moist. And I am going to cut this into, I think I got about 13 slices. And just to make even slices, what I've done is I've cut it in the middle ones and again into half. And then each of those halves I made into three. So I got about 14 thick slices. This bread goes really well toasted with some salted butter or any other thing that you like. So I hope you guys have liked the recipe and will give it a try and if you do let me know in the comments section. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I have shared the recipe on my new website and I'm still working on it so it's not completely functional. There are certain things that don't work but you will definitely be able to see the recipe and get a print out there. You can see the macros there too and to buy any of these products click the links below in the description section or on my website. Thanks for watching. Bye.